Hello, Namaste, Salam Walekum, Satrikal. Welcome back to another session with your Washef at Wareva.com. Today, I am going to redo chicken biryani. But, you know, first time when I did, I told you that if you are making a pakki biryani, it is looked down on the chef's world. Lot of you have written to me that when you made the kachi biryani, it was one of the best biryanis you ate. But, at the same time, some of you had little bit tough time cooking the chicken biryani, the kachi biryani style. So for them, I'm going to show you pakki biryani. So this pakki biryani, what I'm going to show you is very simple. I can guarantee you, you cannot go wrong with this biryani. But if you go wrong with this biryani, what you can do is you can ask your spouse to make this biryani. Otherwise, there are many restaurants that are waiting for your business. So I'm just kidding. You will get this right. Whenever I do biryanis, I, every time I show you a different kind of uh, method of doing this biryani. So today, I'm going to show you adding this whole garam masala. See, one of my friends, he doesn't like having this uh, whole spices coming in the mouth when he is eating biryani. So for such kind of people, I've got a muslin cloth and I've got all the whole spices. You can tie this uh, garam masala in a muslin cloth and then add it to the biryani. What happens is all this beautiful uh, flavor, the smell, everything get infused into the biryani. But once the biryani is done, you can remove this uh, small packet of uh, garam masala out and you will get biryani without whole spices coming into your mouth. To make this biryani, all you do is add some oil and add this garam masala spice packet into the oil and then add onions. If you have noticed that I have added sliced onions, what we are going to do is we are going to cook these onions till they are slightly golden in color. As usual, we are going to add some salt. Now you can see that these uh, onions are slightly golden brown. Add one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. And once the ginger garlic paste is cooked, add your chicken. Okay. Slightly saute this chicken. And then we are going to add our uh, biryani masala. You can see the, my video on biryani masala for how to make this biryani masala. Okay. Add chopped green chilli. I am going to add 3 fourths of the mint leaves I have and keep it little bit aside. And uh, same thing with uh, coriander leaves. I am going to add uh, most of it here. And uh, squeeze in half a lime juice. If you want to make it a little bit spicy, you can add a little bit of chili powder and then add yogurt. Around one cup of yogurt. Now if you notice, we have used the same ingredients that we used while making chicken biryani. But we added in a different way to this because we are making pakki biryani. Pakki biryani means the chicken will be cooked and the rice will be cooked almost full separately and then we are going to layer it up and then put it in the oven just to steam them out. If you want, you can just cover it with a lid and let it cook for 5 to 10 minutes and the chicken will be ready. In the meanwhile, we are going to cook white rice for the chicken biryani. See, to make uh, white rice, what you do is add some oil into your water, add salt, little bit of shai jeera. Shai jeera is black cumin. I have soaked this rice for almost uh, 30 minutes now. I am going to add to this. Now, the chicken is cooking on this stove and the rice is cooking here. So, that is the best way to do. What you do is cook both simultaneously. That way you put hot rice on the chicken and then boom, put it in the oven and you have your biryani perfect. See, the rice is almost 50% um, done. That is the kind of rice we use for our kachi biryani. But because this is a pakki biryani, I am going to cook the rice till it is 90% done. And we are going to cook the rest of the 10% adding on top of this uh, chicken. See, whenever you're cooking rice, you have to be very careful because, ah, see, it's, it's ready. And then just drain it away. And now look at this. See, this rice is almost 90% done. Wow, it should be slightly grainy. You know, it's almost done. Okay, look at this chicken. This is also almost done. So this is how you cook your paki biryani, you want the chicken to be ready and then you are going to add the rice on top. What I am going to do is, I am going to take half of this chicken away from this pan. So, you know what I did, I removed half of this chicken away and on this half chicken I am going to put 
rice okay and spread evenly on this add little bit of uh, fried onion little bit of mint little bit of coriander leaves and then little bit of your saffron color on top of this put the chicken okay do not put the sauce yet going to pour the sauce later on top of this add the rest of the rice and then spread this rice evenly and then same thing sprinkle little bit of mint little bit of coriander and then the saffron water and then you know whatever this little bit uh, gravy with little bit oil just pour it on top okay i can put the lid now and put it in the oven but if you see this lid is slightly you know i can move this it's not sitting tight we don't want the steam to escape so to avoid that what we are going to do we are going to do a method of using dough to seal the edges so i'm going to show you how to do that today here i've got some all purpose flour i'm just going to add some water okay and make a dough just like your chapati dough you can use atta maida anything it doesn't matter the dough is ready so now here i have got the dough what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it like a uh, nice long pipe because i need to seal the entire edges of uh, i'm going to take this uh, and then i'm going to seal the edges in fact uh, do this on the pan itself or else you can do it on the lid whichever one you feel comfortable so you can do this make sure it doesn't fall off and then i'm going to put it on top of this and then press it hard see once i press it and then just uh, on the top just spread this dough see this dough what it does is it seals all the edges and it won't let any of the steam escape that way you know you're going to cook a perfect biryani i have the oven ready i have it at around uh, 375 degrees fahrenheit and i'm going to put in the oven for around 25 to 30 minutes till i see little color on top of the dough that's when i know the biryani inside is ready and awesome i'm going to put this in the oven if you have a nice round container just take it make sure that there is no rubber parts on the lid that can get burnt so i'm going to put this the reason why people make pakki biryani is that you want to make it really fast there is no chance of anything burning and it is for the novice but for me i would love it when i cook it the kachi biryani style but pakki biryani is nothing less tasty it tastes good just that the meat is not as juicy as kachi biryani but for all those people who have not been so successful with kachi biryani this biryani i guarantee you that it will be perfect it's been almost 25 minutes my chicken biryani is ready i'm going to pull it out and let's check how this biryani is you know okay now i'm going to just remove the crust little bit like this okay now as soon as i remove this you can see the steam coming out i'm going to pull this out and you see see the amount of steam that came look at this rice see when you open it you will see all these rice grains like individual they shine like diamonds wow look at this oof 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 wow see this this is what the biryani is to be very frank i have never eaten pakki biryani this good probably this is because i am cooking in front of the camera and for you guys so dear friends i hope you have enjoyed to learn this uh, pakki chicken biryani with your washer remember whatever is all about inspiring others to cook so please post your recipes and cooking tips so others can benefit from your great cooking thank you